our guests joining us uh, this afternoon. We have Ratan Sharda, who's an author, and we also have Lokesh Jindal, a leader of the Congress Party. Um, we'll go across to, uh, in fact, uh, Lokesh Jindal first. Lokesh, how would you see this entire scenario transforming? First, we have the Ranas coming out and accusing the Mumbai police of discrimination, and now they have made that U-turn in the court, and at the same time, now they have again written to the Delhi top cop seeking legal action against Sanjay Raut. Uh, the Ranas, they started this entire episode seeking some form of a political mileage, but now they are looking for some form of a face-saving device because everything what they planned for is tottering. It's not benefiting them any in any manner. Now, these Ranas, when they tried to recite Hanuman Chalisa outside the chief minister's uh, bungalow, that was itself something that is uh, immoral, unethical, and also unconstitutional. Because if you look at the fundamental duty, it, uh, it makes it important for every individual not to promote any form of hatred and destroy law and order in any form. But the Ranas, they were hell-bent upon playing some form of a political mischief so as to disturb the law and order situation. But and Ratan Sharda, would you also like to come in here because the Ranas have maintained that they have not tried to spread any kind of animosity. They just wanted to, in a way, recite the Hanuman Chalisa in front Madam, of the Chief Madam, Minister's Madam, residence, which they were not Chalisa, allowed. recited before a temple, before the idol, before the Hanuman. It is not the place outside Chief Minister's bungalow. They cannot recite Hanuman Chalisa. It is a way to get some moksh, but not political mileage. This is some form of a cheap politicization of religion, which must be condemned by judiciary as well as all organs of the society. And right, secondly, before we go across uh, to board. Ratan Sharda to respond to that, let me go back to Prathiba, who is also joining us live with that latest letter that we have access to. Of, uh, in fact, one again, once again, Navneet Rana, who has written to the Delhi top cop demanding action against Sanjay Raut, she has raised certain serious allegations, Prathiba. Absolutely, and this is the letter that we have accessed uh, as well, Richa. And uh, here, as you can see, this is a letter that's written in Hindi. It says, Shiv Sena ke umidwar aur Shiv Sena ना कार्यकर्ता मुझे धमका रहे हैं और आ, मेरी जाति के बारे में झूठ आरोप लगा रहे हैं क्योंकि मैं चंबा जाति की हूं अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट शी हैज ऑल्सो लेवल सीरियस एलिगेशन अगेंस्ट द शिवसेना सेइंग दैट शी हैज बीन अब्यूज लेट्स टेक यू थ्रू द अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द लेटर एज वेल एंड हियर एज वेल इन द एंटायर लेटर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपन दट शी हैज बीन टारगेटेड एज वेल एंड हियर ऐसा करके उन्होंने जानबूझ कर एक चंबा शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हर कास्ट एंड सेइंग दट शी हैज बीन टारगेटेड अगेन एंड अगेन बिकॉज of the same also saying that she has also been abused by him uh, by the shiv sena leaders only because of her caste this is a letter that she has written to the delhi police where mm. she is detailing what exactly happened saying that she is being targeted for the caste a uh, completely opposite to what was told in the court trial all right thank you pratibha for that going back to ratan sharda so ratan sharda this is a political blame game and a face off that we are witnessing on one hand we have that cctv footage versus cctv footage that came out and now we have a war of words happening and also a u turn that we are witnessing where do you see this playing out yeah, i think we are trivializing a very serious issue what is a serious issue that you impose uh, you charge a person with sedition for 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 asking to recite hanuman chalisa the fact that she never did it she withdrew it because uh, modi ji visit to bombay when police says that she was detained to keep uh, harmony for mr modi is it why she being detained till pending appeal why should not be given bail secondly to use sedition for such a charge when hanuman chalisa has nothing to do with hate it doesn't say that hanuman is the only god hanuman is the god every other gods are false hanuman chalisa doesn't say that thirdly for a government which is in the record of indian history says that you cannot have any devotional song around 100 meters of a mosque Hmm. a law which definitely is discriminatory against hindus right. because such a law is not passed for every place of worship it is passed only and only for muslims this is against christians this is against hindus all right thank you so ratan sharda as well as mr jindal for joining us here on this broadcast meanwhile we have